it's not much, but it's home. Just you. At first I thought somebody had broken in or something. Well, good evening. city. Obey the law, and there's no need to worry about the residents. The city watch are the guys who want to lock me up, though. Gotta keep my eye out for them. So then I said, but I can't read. And so he says, they got the whole place under quora, uh, quora, um, quarantine. Oh, nah. Same thing happened to me. I can read so I could see for myself. I asked why, but the city watch wouldn't give me the time of day. What do you think? Some kind of plague? That's what I thought. But then, I was talking to Jesse down over the tavern, and he says that some kind of ship come into the docks. Something wrong with it. The quarantine is so that... And this is Jesse who said it, so take it for what it's worth. That otherwise, the undead would be everywhere. <gasps> Everywhere? I I wonder if Natalie is okay. She lives over in the docks near the Bloody Ears Tavern. I know. And Grace O'Malley, too. Mind you, Jesse could be wrong. Sure, he's been wrong before. That's, that's right. Everything's probably all right. Yeah, the city watch is just being careful. Doing this quarantine thing is a precautionary type step. Yeah. Those are City Watch. You can tell by their insignia. They're the guys I have to look out for. This is Black Alley. The red handprint is the mark of illegal establishments. to see you. Haven't you heard? Lady Elizabeth from Rutherford Castle is after you. 
She was in here with some goons, asking a bunch of questions about that opal. They did a job on me. See the bruises? Had to give them a name. I guess before I knew that I'd given them yours. Which is the truth, ain't it? Anyway, uh, I watch your back, eh, pal? Uh, about the opal. No way I can risk taking it now, but I know someone who can. A fence in Stone Market. Black Market Bertha. If I were you, I'd go to Stone Market to see her now, before those goons find you. A anyway, I can still give you cash for whatever other loot you stole from the castle. Business as usual, and no hard feelings, eh, Garrett? I mean, uh, who's the one all beaten up? <laughs> Someone's been a busy thief, that's for sure. Nice haul. Guess crime does pay after all, eh? Sure I got a buyer who'd be interested in this merchandise. Pays top dollar, too. Someone's been a busy thief, that's for sure. Things are a little hot right now, but it'll probably blow over. I guess I'll take them. Sure, I got a buyer who'd be interested in this merchandise. Pays top dollar, too. Someone's been a busy thief, that's for sure. Nice haul. Guess crime does pay after all, eh? Welcome. Is this your first time visiting us? Take your time. Peruse. Enjoy. Shopping should never be a rushed experience. Are we looking for anything special tonight, sir? Take your time. Look around. Here at the well-equipped thief we pride ourselves on stocking everything a person like yourself might need. Glad we could be of service. I'm Thomas, the proprietor here. We're here to help if you need anything. Looks like Lady Elizabeth is here, with a couple of thugs. The 
Did you see that fence wince? I only had to hit him three times before he started spilling his guts. Couldn't wait to give us Garrett's name. It was my knife at his throat that made him talk you taffer. Heartless Perry, huh? He wasn't so tough. I want to go back and rough him up some more. Shut up, you fools. The whole town can hear you. Beg pardon, Lady Elizabeth. The money is ready. Don't dally. I haven't got all night. Half. <laughs> we wasn't being that loud. If she's a noble, then I must be quite a gent. Well, where's the money I was going to pay you with? The other fellow, your friend, he must have taken it. What? Not possible, you witch. You'll pay, one way or the other. You've not heard of my poison blade? How unfortunate. For you. Aha! Running won't save you. I can run just as fast as you! Oh. Aha! That's enough. Show yourself. What's the delay? All he had to do was walk up some stairs and get his pay. Well, and then walk down again. I ought to go see what's taking so long. Is that you, Julian? Uh, Ember? If it's you, please come out.
I don't care for people who hide. Trying to listen in on me, were you? out of fear. Fear of me and my poison dagger. Good. I've made it past Lady Elizabeth and her thugs, and now here I am in Stone Market. This district's known for commerce and corruption, with plenty of both for everybody. Most people come here for the stores, but I tend to do my shopping after everything's locked up for the night. There's the clock tower, one of the tallest buildings in the city, a good landmark day or night. And finally, the Stone Market Plaza. More vendors, more people. No doubt the City Watch will be keeping an eye out for pickpockets like me, though. Being a thief is never as easy as it sounds. Anyway, it's time for me to find this Bertha character and get rid of the Opal once and for all. I hope Perry was right about her. Big Bertha's place is marked on my map with the red handprint. <laughs> 